Hey guys, it's Alyssa from PileOfFabric.com. Today I am going to share with you a tutorial for converting a crib size quilt to a baby sleeping bag. The finished sleeping bag can be used for brand new babies by folding the top half down or for larger babies up to about a year old by leaving the top half unfolded. The sleeping bag has a zipper on the bottom and side snaps to keep the baby inside. As a side note and disclaimer, if you choose to make this item, you are fully responsible for the end product and safety of baby. Do not leave the baby unattended while using the sleeping bag and be sure to properly secure the zipper and snaps to prevent choking. Now for the fun part. For this project, you will need an unbound, quilted, 32 inch by 50 inch quilt. For my quilt top, I machine pieced a hexagon quilt using the fabric collection Hello Bear by Art Gallery Fabrics. I backed the quilt with a premium fleece, then quilted it with straight lines. You will also need an 18 inch polyester two-way separating zipper, three size three sew-on snaps, clover wonder clips or pins, a hand sewing needle, and coordinating thread. You can find most of these supplies in our shop at pileoffabric.com backslash supplies. Lay your quilt down with the back side facing up. Open the zipper, separating the two sides. Line up one side of your zipper with the bottom raw edge of the quilt, leaving a half inch space from the right edge of the quilt. The closed end of the zipper should be on your right side. Clip or pin this first zipper piece into place. Now line up the other side of the zipper with the bottom raw edge of the quilt. The closed end should be on your left side this time and the open ends should overlap but still leave about a quarter inch gap between the plastic ends. Clip or pin this second zipper piece into place. Before you sew the zipper down, test it out by zipping it shut. Make sure everything lies flat and straight. Using a narrow foot or zipper foot, sew a quarter inch from the edge of the quilt securing the zipper in place. Using your preferred method, you can now add the quilt binding. I machine sewed a double folded binding to the front side of my quilt and hand stitched it in place on the back side. Just be sure that when you get to the zipper portion of the quilt, that you have about a quarter inch of space between the zipper teeth and the binding edge. Now you will sew on the snaps. Lay your quilt down backside facing up and zip the zipper closed. You will place the male side of one snap five inches from the bottom of the quilt on the right folded edge as shown. Then you will place the female side of one snap five inches from the bottom of the quilt but on the far left edge right next to the binding as shown. For the second snap, you will measure 10 inches from the bottom of the quilt and for the third snap, you will measure 16 inches from the bottom of the quilt. To sew the snaps on, you will need a hand sewing needle and coordinating thread. Tie a knot at the end of the thread then stick the needle underneath the snap coming up just outside one of the snap holes and pull your thread tight. When you do this, you will only want to go through the middle layer of the quilt. 
You do not want the thread showing on the front side of your quilt. Now stick the needle through the snap hole closest and come up just outside the next hole. Stick the needle through the snap hole closest again and come up just outside the next hole. Continue doing this going around and around the snap until it is strongly secured. Repeat this process for all three snap sets. You should now have a completed, snuggly little baby sleeping bag. This sleeping bag can easily be converted back to a simple quilt after your baby grows out of it. Snip the thread holding the snaps on, then open up the binding where the zipper is and seam rip the threads holding the zipper in place. Reattach the binding and you have a simple keepsake quilt. If you have enjoyed this tutorial, then please subscribe or share. If you have questions, just leave a comment or email me at alyssa at pileofabric.com.